Right now, most of the power in the United States comes from burning fossil fuels, but this highway could also create electricity. You see, the power is already here, burned into the hot blacktop, and cities are just starting down the long road of extracting that power. We're near downtown LA. We got downtown LA in the background there. The easiest way to save power is to keep the streets and surrounding cities from getting hot in the first place. In cities around the world, there's a high concentration of asphalt and other materials that absorb heat. Davis Coley has met us in Los Angeles and he's talking about what's called an urban heat island. Hot blacktop cities sweltering people all summer long. Davis's company Guard Top has come up with an alternative lighter colored blacktop that reflects the sun's radiation. I've actually noticed that you can feel the difference in the temperature as you go from the white top to the black top. Yeah, so we're reflecting about 35 to 40 percent of the UV rays of the sun. This isn't just white paint that would peel off. It's actually embedded into the pavement, and it's almost 10 degrees cooler than the darker surface. Heat equity is a, a big part of the discussion, too, and a lot of the cities are looking at, you know, neighborhoods that are more susceptible to heat. You see, if cities make the roads cooler and neighborhoods shadier, people don't have to crank the AC. One of the kind of wild ideas is this solar panel that's embedded into the road. This could be the future of highway infrastructure and power infrastructure. Weather, no problem. Cars riding over it all the time, no problem. I'm Brian Johnson. I am the city manager here at Peachtree Corners, Georgia. Brian runs the Curiosity Lab in Metro Atlanta, where companies can try out emerging technologies like the solar road that is powering a charging station on a mostly public part of a city street. This city or any city could end up taking existing roadway, put in solar panels and generate electricity to power all sorts of stuff. This road is version 2.0 from a French company called Wattway, not to be confused with the Chinese company with a similar sounding name. They installed their first solar roadway in northwestern France about five years ago, and it was slammed in the French press for its lack of durability and lack of power output. It may not be tomorrow where it's ready for that use, but it's certainly being tested in a real world on a real city street right now. Here in much sunnier North Georgia, the second version seems to be holding up, but this is just one technology they're testing here. Very soon, your most connected device won't be your phone anymore. It'll be your car. Every single street light can talk to each other, can talk to the traffic signal, can talk to pedestrian crossing, can talk to the vehicles. That is a lot of data. So the roadway of the future could be a city cooler, a power plant, and a true information superhighway. The dream of the 90s is alive in Peachtree Corners, Georgia.